not gonna be a gamepad game. This is its own thing. Uh, Those fonts. I remember this was was it in the very first humble bundle. Uh, eh, very first humble bundle. I would be surprised if it wasn't, considering it's the same people. Oh yeah, this is like their actual. This was how they got started. Mm -hmm. So, as far like, as I remember, at least. Yep, it was. Yes, I was gonna say this is exactly the same developers. Oh yeah, right. The... So the whole. The reason that I have 2,000 games on Steam is kind of because of this game, needing some other games for promotional help. Well, that's weird to think of. Humble Bundles run by totally not furries. Wasn't well, they sold it at some point to, like, I want to say IGN? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh... Also, this is, like, super grim, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, I keep saying this. Every furry game has this, like, cutesy art style and then, like, super dark plot going on suddenly. It does seem to be the pattern. I just do? Um. <laughs> Flop. Flopsy bunny. Uh, I, I hit shift. <laughs> I suddenly died. I was just having it. Oh, and then the game died. <laughs> and the game <laughs> So, I guess... One day, Turner the rabbit tripped and died. The I end. guess I shouldn't tri uh, hit shift. Uh. I mean, it's an important button, as I recall. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't like accidentally sticky keys or something, did you? I don't think so. Also, this is not like friendly with tabbing out of it, uh, as I mentioned before. So, can you run it in a? Was there a windowed option? <sighs> let me let me end task here because that was alarming, and then try again, and we'll see. Uh... This was a one-person high school project kind of deal, so. It's kind of amazing it holds together as well as it did, especially when this was like pre a lot of middleware. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, apparently, it's still running somewhere in here. Uh, I don't, I don't believe it is still running. It seems to be just a ghost haunting my computer now. Um. Okay, Steam. If I tell, okay, here we go. Take two. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, is there a windowed option? Because I would really, really like to play this windowed. You could always try Alt Enter when you're in. Uh, could I? No. Hmm. No, this, this plays by its own rules. Okay, so let's try this again, and hopefully I won't, like, Collapse and die when I hit shift this time. <laughs> okay. You'll probably collapse. As I recall, shift is the manual flip button, so if you press it in the air and tap shift, you'll do like a flip, and then you ragdoll when you touch the ground if you do like a bad Tony Hawk move, which was pretty impressive at the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can tell uh, because I turned the volume down so much, but uh, we have subtitles over rabbit sounds for the dialogue here. Yes. Okay, so. Take two. Talk to you. Hopefully not having this 
bad of a time this time. Okay. Well, that's a like responsive freaking camera. Um. Oh yeah, and you'll need it too. This is like somewhere between a character action game and Super Mario 64, and like everything is like one or two hit kills. Yep. Uh, it's also a very trial by fire sort of uh, climb tutorial there. Yep, this is all the tutorial you get. I'm pretty sure you just need to like crouch jump to get up there. Oh, I tried that. That accursed shift key. Oh, wrong direction. That, that camera really will just whip around on you. Mm hmm. But, like, weird, awkward controls aside, uh. Nope. 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 Uh. This is. If I recall, it can get with a really impressive move set to it once you know what you're doing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I remember spending many hours just playing the challenge levels over and over. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Max Payne in the sense that, like, you can get through the levels, but then there's, like, you want to go back and do them the stunty way just for fun. I think you had it there, you just need to um, make sure you have like forward momentum okay, as soon as you're jumping. Oh, 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 oh. Too much forward momentum. Too much forward momentum. Oh, Ow. oh no! I feel like the automatic slow, uh, slow mo though when you do your crazy duck jumps. Okay, so. This game had a lot of speed ramping before that was common in action games too, yeah. which is also so neat. It's harder than it looks, by the way. Just so you know. If you start moving and then crouch, you'll do a roll, but if you crouch then move, I think you'll go directly into the rabbit run you're looking for. Like that? Oh, that's handy. Oh, that's a crouch walk, my mistake. There's also like a an on fours run. Yep. But um, um. So there is, I believe, no falling damage. I don't remember. I think there's falling damage if you screw up a flip and ragdoll. Mm -hmm. Then also the game crashed. <laughs> Should we left click? Is it left click? Yeah, left, right, just me. It might be both. I think they're both proximity only. Ah, that's the issue, yeah. Also, this had like um, Arkham Asylum's like attack versus parry kind of thing going on way before it did. I remember when I played Arkham Asylum, I was like, oh, this is like Lugaru. I remember there was a big discussion surrounding overgrowth, whether the rabbits should have boobs or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like largely an animation test project that turned into a weird game and then turned into the reason there's a model. 
Yeah, all the verbs themselves are very basic, but then it's just like you learn all these context-specific things. Like if you jump and do like a flip kick and knock someone point blank into a tree, it'll like insta kill them. All like stuff like that. And then I think there's a counter button that'll like catch their limb, and then there'll be like weapons, and then wolves function differently. Oh yeah, wolves are a thing. And then there's like stealth mechanics later too. It's actually a very involved, very hard game, just with these yeah, weird, this is the easiest level. low poly graphics and uh, blood tinge sky here. Oh, holy cow! <laughs> yeah! Like, like, not just dev, also stripped naked, that's like a thing here, like... Yeah, that's a good point, I didn't think of that, because they were wearing clothes. Including the little kid, right? Uh, I didn't check specifically, but I think at least canonically so. Hmm. Are they gonna climb up there and check? Is my question. I'd rather not. It's kind of a pain. If I recall correctly, there isn't even more to do on this level. Hmm. Just see corpses be horrified. Yeah, and then I forget how you leave. Oh yeah, this had really big maps for the time, too. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, like, what was the time? It was, like, 2000? Yeah. Like, seeing polygonal PC games at all is still relatively rare I think when this came out I think you might be in the fancy infinite map edge I might okay double tap forward uh, hmm oh good tree Hopefully that I'm going the right way. I think you get out of this level by leaving the same vague direction you did the first time. Unless there's like something you need to interact with. I might play Ten Tower again. At least I never had a run. It wouldn't be way out in the wilderness. Is there another NPC close to where the last one was? Oh, I think you talk with, like, someone wounded or something that's ringing a bell. Is it Ruth's daughter? Uh, check around more on the ground. I don't remember needing to go back up there. I gotta look up a walkthrough meanwhile, just in case. Thank you. Actually, this is kind of a game that, like, has some rough edges that that would help for. Hawk there. Oh, there's a little bit of me map down the bottom there. It shows that. Ah, okay. Oh, good, you found it? <laughs> well, it shows there's an actual map. It's just mm. in the lower right, which is like the weirdest place for a map to ever be. <laughs> it's the weird to have those like grim dialogues be like. Ah, sweet. Ah, sweet. <laughs> yes. Nice 90s 
where is it? What? On his hip, I think. So you can stealth this, or you can run up and punch him. But you need to be careful around knives, too, because if you, like, take hits, you're actually, like, bleeding out from them. Yep. And it's, like, locational, but it's so fast, it's, like, you it's hard to keep a handle on it. And then, like, I think if you counter when they do a knife swing, you do a disarm. Ooh. And then I lose Bob Lawyer for a second there. I think you're bleeding. Yeah. Call it night, but like there's weirdly accurate damage modeling in this game. Yeah, that was another super impressive thing for the time. If you get like slashed across the chest, there will be a slash across your chest. I say before the time, like that's still not something you see very often. Yeesh. Am I just already in kill everybody mode? I think so. Okay. I think you can crouch walk behind them and do an insta kill if you backstab them. Ah. Do do now? Oh, I have a knife too, don't I? There's a weapon button. They may have. Yeah, they did. Hmm. I appreciate, too, how all the enemies in this are just basically really good bots. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Like this, there's a stealth kill? Yeah, and then I think if you attack them when you're close enough, you'll do, you'll like do a, I think the term is spine crush. I don't remember exactly though. You can like silent take down them with a uh, if your knife is equipped when you do a backstab. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're getting it. Mm -hmm. I put the knife, that, was the problem. that was the counter. sequel to this called Overgrowth, which is like, basically this, but you're like, commanding a bandit, nice, commanding a bandit camp, <laughs> and like, oh, God. raising armies and stuff like that, it's a whole thing. Yeah, like, heavily proceduralized animations and stuff, too, that they've done talks about, which were really impressive. Yeah. Like, I mean, this doesn't look like much, just being solo poly, but, like, there's a lot going on under the hood of this game. And that happened. Oh, no! I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm not fine. Oh, no! How do I pull a knife out? See you, space bunny. There. Yeah, that would make this fight much easier. And you probably get, like, since they don't notice you, you might even get a free throw, and if a throw isn't dodged, it's usually an insta-kill. And I forget how to do that also. Am I actually gaining on them or losing pages? Oh, you're gaining. You sure? Hmm. Yeah.
right at one point we get to it, huh? Mm-hmm. Just overhead camera for this time. Unless there's like a grab button, I forget. Freak you out of me. Very nice. Just <laughs> blood dripping in the sand. I think rolls are silent, but they're also very hard not to overshoot with. As I recall, they actually are adapting to if you use one attack too often. <clears throat> yeah. Juggle combo. Yeah. I forget exactly, but you might also even be able to counter the counter. Great of this game, um, but you're kind of getting a taste of it. Like the main plot is over pretty quick, and then it really is just like, well, time to murder everybody. Yeah, you could always try a challenge level if you want to see what more like mid game is oh, like. Good idea. But you'll need to use all the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Is there actually like an in-game control thing? In game? Oh, oh, there's not a that I'm aware of. Uh, oh, there is. Okay. Oh, tutorial. Oh, yeah, of course, tutorial. That would be most helpful. Okay. No, it's just the one attack button. Huh. I kind of wish it did have enough, uh, like controller support, but I understand why it doesn't. Okay, good challenge it is. I have this headband. Mm -hmm. I think if you get launched in the air and you do a flip and finish it completely before you hit the ground... Oh, now he's in alert the others mode. Um, then you, like, land on your feet, but you've got to, like, gauge whether it's worth the risk. Oh! <laughs> nice! I'm not sure if I caught that, but he just, like, grabbed me by the ankle when I was jumping. Yep, yep, they can do that. I think if they try a super jump and get near you, you'll also you'll grab them down if you attack. I'm not sure. They don't really do big vertical jumps often, though. This can be an entertaining one to watch people's skill play because it looks very choreographed and balletic. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely worth looking up, like, speed runs or something like that for this. It's... And I have to look up how old this is, too, exactly, because, like, I remember it was actually really impressive for the time compared to what else was out there. It's kind of like a Hotline Miami as well, in the sense that, like, the damage is so high and the patrols are such that it's mm. kind of a puzzle action game where it's, like, figuring out the route you're even supposed to use for a level is part of the challenge. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, that's about as good as I am, honestly. But, Luger, it's weird. And, again, the plot, if I recall, really is just kind of like, well, your family got killed, go murder the entire population of the world. Pretty much. <laughs> 